Hey team, Tucky here, down the beach, part of our morning routine. The girls are here playing with their uh, crazy little surf toys. And uh, I thought I'd answer a question I just got from, a, or I just saw from a guy called Josh. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. Now when I don't have a microphone today and so the sound might be crap. If it's crap, I apologize. Um, but I figured better to publish than to not publish. Hey bub. This it's is the Arama. Thing. It can actually surf on water. Show us. Give us a, a quick demo. Okay. Uh, uh, wait. Is that little surf? It's going to go up. Woohoo! It can go on Thanks, bud. So, uh, Josh asked a question today. Sorry. <laughs> Josh asked a question today. Um, uh, calling a bunch of coaches out and asking. Uh, what do coaches charge for their stuff and what do you deliver? And so there's a million ways to answer that, but I think the first thing to realize is that the what do I deliver piece is completely, um, no, it's important to know kind of what to give people, but it's the least important part. The most important thing to figure out is what is the transformation that you offer? What's the change you're gonna make? Um, the logistics? is the, frankly, it's kind of the least sexy part of your offer. You know what I'm saying? I mean this with uh, all love and respect, but nobody cares like how many sessions they get or what's in your website or, you know, how many months it goes for. What they care about is what what's the outcome? Because uh, the simple truth is, if I can get the outcome without having to do any of that stuff, so much the better. In fact, I've got a client called Mike who when a client says, uh, so let me get this straight, how, many, how, how much time one-on-one -on -one do I get with you? His answer is as little as possible. And uh, by the way, I just got out of the water and <laughs> my beard is all over the place right now, ticklish. Um, and they say, well, what do you mean as little as possible? He said, well, let's say there was two ways I could get you the outcome you're after. You know, first way, I could put my thumb on your forehead for 10 seconds. And at the end of that 10 seconds, magically your business has doubled. That's option one. Or option two is, we could talk about it once a week for an hour or so, and at the end of the, at the, end of the year, you'd get the outcome. Which would you prefer? And people are like, well, obviously, the, kind of the, the thumb. He goes, well, uh, unfortunately, my thumb doesn't have that power, but the big lesson should be that what you're buying is an outcome, not a set of deliverables. Does that make sense? Uh, so, part one. Quick commercial break. Jacinta, how you doing? Good. Show us. This is Matt. Show us, Matt. Please. Where's Matt? He doesn't really stand up. <laughs> All right. So, uh, first lesson: it's about the result, not about the deliverables, right? And that's pretty, pretty clear. So the, that's the first thing. The deliverables are the, like the, the least sexy part of what you offer. So uh, let's get focused on the result that people get uh, much more than the hours I get or the website I get to log into or the fact that there's a Facebook group and the other stuff, right? Uh, the last piece though is how much should I charge? And uh, we should charge on value, not on logistics. You know, other companies charge like cost plus pricing or an hourly rate. An hourly rate or cost price is just the dumbest way to charge for anything. Uh, you've probably had the experience where you've got a client an incredible result. Like maybe if you're a business coach, maybe you added, you helped them add a million dollars to their bottom line. And they, they paid you 15,000 bucks for that privilege. Like that's not a good, I mean, that's a ridiculously good deal for them. So the rule of thumb is this, and I got this from uh, 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 a smart guy called Alan Weiss, who's got a book called Value Based Pricing. Uh, what do you charge? Well, you should charge uh, an amount that gives your clients a 10 to 20 times ROI. That's the first part of the equation. You should charge uh, a price that gives your clients a 10 to 20 times ROI. In, in, in other words, a really great ROI, result, a return on investment for them, and a healthy profit for you, right? 
And so here's the thing, um, healthy profit for you is, is easier to do when you're charging by value, not by price. Does that make sense, guys? So figure out what it costs them to not hire you is the last tip I'll give you. Everyone's freaked out about how much it costs to hire you, as like how much your coaching is, and will people pay that? And I don't know if people in my market will pay that. Uh, I want you to get, we're all way too clear about the price of our stuff, but we're, almost none of us are clear enough about the, about the price of not hiring you. Because if they don't hire you, then they struggle, and they keep struggling, and it costs them a fortune. And so how much does it cost to not solve this problem is a really good question to be asking. And uh, with that in mind, the cost of hiring you is easy. You want to charge it so they get 10 to 20 times what they spend with you. So if they spend a thousand bucks, they're going to get 10 to 20 thousand dollars in return. If they spend twenty thousand dollars, they're going to get 200 to 400 thousand dollars in return, right? And that's how we price our stuff in a way that gives you a high profit margin for you. Hopefully that helps a little bit, and the um, sound quality hasn't been too bad because of the wind without a mic. Just going to do a quick check in with these girls. Amazing. Jacinta, what's your surfer called? That. Who is it? That. Is it Talky Todd? Todd. Todd, yes. yeah. Alright, what's your surfer's name? Natalie. Natalie? Upside down. There she goes. Alright, so uh, I'm going to get back to it. I hope that helps. Think about the, the three tips today. Number one, your, your logistics are are way less important than your transformation. Number two, uh, price so that they get a 10 to 20 times ROI and you get uh, a healthy profit. And third, uh, think about the cost of not hiring you as your coach, even more so than you do the cost of actually hiring you as a coach. Hope that helps. Uh, this is Taki and Araha Hi. and Nat out. <laughs>